It feels like we're kind of in the tropics. Yes, it does. You know, it's it is. very mild out there. If you ever go outside, it is very warm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You'll need an umbrella as well because we're tracking damp conditions to start us off on this Saturday. But the rain actually arrives later on this afternoon. Currently, what's producing those damp roadways is actually this dense fog we have been dealt with. And we currently are under a dense fog advisory that will stick around through 10 a.m. And that's because visibility is less than a quarter of a mile. In fact, near zero across many locations like Trenton, Wilmington, up towards the Poconos, all socked in fog at this hour, and that does include Center City. It's kind of hard to see, and here's a live look. Courtesy of our Sky Deck camera, you could see on a clear day our beautiful city skyline. It's pretty hard to see even at the street surface, or down at the street level, I should say. But it is uh, quite foggy, and that's going to be the case again through around mid morning before this fog lifts, but the clouds really aren't going anywhere. We're going to continue with overcast conditions pretty much all day long, and then that rain finally catches up. This is what I'm talking about. Very mild in some spots, especially the further south and east you are. Can you believe it's already 56 degrees in Atlantic City? Places like Bergantine, they're at 60 degrees. Very mild start to the day. 57 in Wildwood, 49 here in Philly, 43 in Allentown, also in the 40s up in the Poconos, and we're dealing with fog pretty much region wide. So again, use caution. We're going to continue with low visibility at least through mid morning. The main story once this fog clears becomes this cold front that's already inching closer and closer to central parts of the state. You can see that rain shield already over Pittsburgh. And as I mentioned, it's inching closer to the middle of the state, eventually heading our way as we approach this afternoon. So for the most part this morning, it's a bit foggy. Yes, it's a bit damp and even misty in some spots. But as we approach the afternoon, that's when rain begins to develop. We've stopped the clock at 2 p.m. and you can see that rain moving through the region scattered in nature. Nothing fall falling overly heavy at this hour. But as the afternoon presses on, this rain picks up in coverage and in intensity. And you can see those darker returns, pretty much an indication that we will be tracking steady rainfall. This is now 530 in the afternoon evening and we're dealing with wet roadways. 11 p.m. shows that rain pushing on out of here by midnight. A lot of us should be drier with a few lingering showers possible. And then by daybreak on Sunday, we're looking at way better conditions. Let's jump ahead to the next seven days because there's a lot of good stuff on this seven day forecast. Tomorrow for the mummers and eagles, we are dry, breezy and mild. Temperatures soar into the upper 50s. We keep it going with 50 degree weather into the start of the week and then clouds return Turn, but notice how mild it becomes. Wednesday, we will be once again challenging daytime high records. We'll climb to 66, and then we are a little bit cooler for Thursday, and we are a whole lot cooler by Friday of next week. All right, thanks, Arisa.